name is Aarti Jhanjhanwala and welcome to Maushu's Pilates YouTube channel. Today we are going to be covering exercises for GBS or Bullion Bar Syndrome. This is a condition in which the immune system attacks the nerves and this sometimes can be triggered by an acute bacterial or viral infection or sometimes can also be triggered by certain vaccines. So with GBS, the symptoms can sometimes start with just a mild tingling to muscular weakness and then progress to complete paralysis. Uh, sometimes it affects the organs and people need to be hospitalized because it affects the respiratory system and can cause a clonia of the throat. Um, so the exercises we are going to cover today are after the person can walk into the studio and right in the beginning of when a person is completely paralyzed, there is extreme weakness as in muscle. At that point, the physical therapist will be doing stuff on the bed in passive movements. This is the next level of progression once they can make it into the studio. One of the first exercises we are going to start today is to work on the former. So, with GPS, there is a lot of weakness in the limbs. So, this builds strength in the legs. So, our aim is in the limbs to build strength range of motion and control. So as you push away, I want you to exhale. And as you inhale and come back in, I want you to think of resisting the springs. So we're building eccentric muscle strength over here, which is very important in the recovery phase. So let's do about five more of these. Try and connect into the heels of your feet. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed with a gentle nod in your chin. Your tailbone is nice and heavy and your limbs are sinking down. Continue with this movement. Let's do one more and come back in. Now we're going to go into a lift and lower, and she's going to connect her toes onto the foot bar. Press out all the way. I want you to think that you're wrapping your toes around the bar. So see if you can get sensation in all 10 toes of yours. And then lift up, and again, as you come down, I want you to resist the coming down. So the lift and lower. Push back. So the lower I want even slower on the way down. Don't let the springs pull you down. You resist the springs as you come down. So she's building a control in her muscles. The springs want to pull in one direction and she wants to control in her back. Very nice. Let's do another five more of these. And make sure you're breathing deeply and the rest of your body is nice and relaxed. And stop. Now we're going to do some sideline footwork on the machine. The aim of using the jump board over here is to create a feeling of proprioception for her. So what happens with GBS because especially the nerve endings at the end get very affected. We want to get feedback for her feet right from her toes to her heels. So jump board gives her full feedback on her entire foot. So she's lying on her side, her ribs are stacked, her pelvis is stacked. She's connecting into her full foot as she pushes the machine away. We're going to do about five of these. And once again, you're thinking of the resist as you come back in. Now we're going to do the same thing in external rotation. Where she's going to turn her knees upwards, her feet are turning, point toes are pointing upwards, trying to get a little glute activation in. And once again, you're focusing on the breathing deeply, keeping the rest of your torso relaxed. To begin with, the workout should not be overtaxing for the patient. So you want to start with where they don't feel too much fatigue. So let's aim at just 5 to 7 repetitions of each exercise. Alright, come back in. Now we're going to do the same thing with the lower leg. So this knee comes close to your chest and in and press out. And just 5 repetitions of this. Connect into the heel of the foot, to the ball of the foot. As you press out, feel that connection into the foot bar. The next exercise we're going to do is articulated shoulder bridges. And uh, the aim of these exercises is to strengthen the glutes, to stretch the hip flexors, and also to create spine articulation. So we've given her a ball and the so she gets a little more feedback and proprioception happening over here. So then I'm going to reach your fingers away from you, connect into the heels of your feet, and as you exhale, gently connect downwards as you peel your spine off one vertebra at a time. So we're going to start with a small movement 
And then as she gets stronger, we can increase the range of motion for this. So start with what you can, and then with every repetition, you can go slightly bigger. I want you to think of your spine as a string of pearls. So as you go up, lift up one pearl at a time. And again, as you come down, you come down one pearl at a time. If you deepen in, let's just do one more of these. And gently connect into the ball with your inner thighs as well. Blocking on breathing, now strength, range of motion and control in the limbs, in the upper limbs. So we're going to start an exercise called server tree. So I want you to sit nice and heavy on your sit bones, your ribs are stacked, gently nodding your chin. And I want you to reach your fingertips away towards the middle and you will control your back in. So again, you're thinking of the resist the springs as you come back in. Let's do about three more of these. And now, if you're comfortable with this, from here, you're going to add an open, good, a close, and then bend the elbows back again. Again, go in front, open, close, and add in. And throughout this movement, try and keep your torso as heavy, your ribs closed, sit bones heavy on the mat, and sit thinking nice and long through the top of the spine. One more of this. With this next series on the chair, we're going to do some strengthening of her legs and her glutes. But our main aim with the chair is challenging her balance. With GBS, the sense of balance really gets affected. So, we're going to start with holding with both hands and you're going to connect into the heel of your foot as you press down. Keep your ribs stacked over your pelvis. And with control, exhale as you press down, resist the spring as you come up. Now, if this is feeling good for you, can you let go of one arm and continue? So, we do it in a graded way. We start with what they can do and see how we can challenge them further. And now, if you can let go of the other hand and see if that goes through. So, you need to see where your client is and see how you can take them further. Let's do two more of those. This next exercise we're going to do is we're going to build strength and mobility in her ankles and it's also going to kind of just get better feedback and proprioception into the toes and the tips of the toes. So Palat, I want you to really feel that stretch into your toes and now you're going to push the pedal away with your toes and then resist the coming up. Don't let the spring pull you up and try and reduce this angle as much as you can as you come up. And once again, relax your torso, relax the rest of your body, breathe into it. So this improves the mobility of the ankle. So the joints tend to get very stiff and GBS and you want to, with strength, increase their mobility. Let's do one more of this. The next exercise, we're going to work into some dy dynamic uh, hamstring flexibility and strength happening over here. So just start with the lift and lower. Press down and resist the spring as you come up. Exhale down, inhale as you come up. Make sure your shoulders are nice, relaxed, ribs are sinking down. Let's do two more of these. So come up to the point where you get a nice stretch in your hamstrings and then press down again. Now on the last one, I want you to stay down. Drag your heel against the mat. Get that feedback. Come into a tabletop, straighten your leg, press down all the way. Let's do five of these. With control, drag, resist, come up. Beautiful. At the same time, you're making sure that your pelvis stays stable, the knee doesn't move, and keeping everything else relaxed. And now we're going to reverse the same movement. So come back in. So come back up. Now bend your knee. Get it close to your hip. Imagine you're pushing something away, lift up, bend your knee, press away, imagine you're making a groove in the sand and then come back up and just breathe rhythmically through the whole movement and try and get that feedback from the mat. Let's do one more of this. Nice and I'm going to work on activating a little bit of her back body. 
So her legs are stacked over her pelvis. She says, "No, let's start with five just pull backs." So as you pull back, think of the back of your arms and over here. And again, as you come back in, resist the coming back. In. Open up your shoulders. Feel a little stretch. Bring up on the front of your legs. Okay. Now you're going to pull back. Pause over there. Feel that nice opening in your chest, and then look right. Look left. Release. Pull. Bar up as your spine wants to come down. Beautiful. And that's it. 